Hello, Arctic fam and friends. This is your girl, Nishia W. Coming to you from the top of the world, Barrow, Alaska. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some very simple little coasters. Um, I love making coasters. And for this particular project, it was a commission. This painting right behind me um, is called The Golden Tree. The young lady who purchased that, she also wanted six coasters. I make my coasters in sets of twos. So let me show you what she, you know, the things that she already purchased. She wanted, and the glare is ridiculous over here. I'm sorry. She wanted two colorful ones with the um, color stones. She wanted two mermaids. Let's see. We can do this without ugh, the glare. Hold on. Let me do them one at a time. All right. So I can minimize that glare. All right. This is my favorite one. And then we got the second one. All right. Now these, I love doing these um, handcrafted mermaids. If anyone would like to order a set, um, I will have my email address in the drop box below. Just shoot me an email and let me know. Um, and we can just talk about, you know, pricing and everything, shipping and all of that. So just let me know. I love doing these. They're very unique. And so far, they've been a hit up here. Um, she gave me an option to do two more um, coasters. And so what I have is two different sets. She said she wanted them in the same shape as the mermaids, but I tried something different. So I'm going to run both of them by her. I'll let her see what, what we have. Now, in today's video, we're going to be making something. Since that one is called the Golden Tree, I wanted to make her coasters, you know, um, you know, kind of match that. Okay, so we are be, we'll be making these coasters right here, these cute ones, the Golden Tree coasters. So here's one. I did them in different designs. And here's the other, where you can barely see the trunk, just the branches. Okay, so, but I also did another option, which she doesn't know about. And I did these. Now, the video is not about these, but... Look at that seahorse. I hope we can get up there. Isn't he beautiful? So I have the seahorse coaster. And then I did a mat, you know, a butterfly. Matchy like so they're the same shape. And so these two could go together. Okay. But the video today will be about the you know these two. Alright, let's get into it. Oh, gosh, I forgot. You're, you guys are not going to be able to see this. All right, that's better. Now you should be able to see what all I'm doing. Sorry about that. So basically all I did was take the, the hardener and the resin, pour it up to the top of the line, this first line, and now we're at the stage of just mixing it together for three minutes.
Guys, while I'm mixing this, <laughs> let me tell you something. Let's talk. Let's talk. Fam to fam. I have, I'm having the hardest time, the hardest time with my videos because I always want to talk. I love to talk. And the reason is up here, I'm here by myself. My family is in Atlanta. And so I'm up here in Barrow, Alaska by myself. And I work a 3 p.m. to midnight shift. So from three to five, there are people in the office. But you know, when you first get to work, you know how that is. You're getting your coffee, you're figuring out what you need to do, you know, all of that stuff. So you're really not socializing too much. And then by the time you look up, you know, you want to hurry up and get started. And then by the time you look up, everybody's gone. At five o'clock, everybody's gone. And then I'm there to midnight by myself. So I have a very solitary job. And then I come back to this apartment. I'm by myself here. So on the weekends, usually that's when I would socialize. But a lot of my friends have actually moved, have left or moved. And so, <clears throat> and so I'm really, really, really just going more toward YouTube, my YouTube family. And, you know, trying to get my videos, trying to... Um, to improve one more minute trying to prove my editing and things like that so thank you for your patience with me as a, as a new channel I've had this channel up for a little while but I really just haven't done that much with it when I say new channel this right here will actually be my second I think this is my second art video okay so we're at the three minutes what I'm going to do is take these cups. Now, the colors we're using today, I want this to be a night. Let's see. Let me, let me use a messed up one. If you look at the back, you can see it even better. Purples and blues. It almost looks like a galaxy, doesn't it? So the colors that I use for that is Master's Touch Violet. And that's what we'll be using today. Let me move these out of the way. And we're going to be using Amsterdam Standard Series Bluish Green. All of the supplies will be in the description box below. Okay. Let's start with the purple. You only want to do about 10% 10, 10 by volume. No more than 10% or you could end up with some issues. So let me go ahead and separate. I see the bubbles are coming up. It's pretty clear. This is a lot better. Oh my God, a whole lot better than what happened with that first one. So thank you, Laura, for that suggestion with the heating pad. I'm not saying she thought, you know, she made that up or anything. She she heard it from somebody else. All right. These are going to be the only two colors we're using today. Let me take off this. Put my trash can. I usually keep my trash can right by me. Paper towels right there next to me because you use a lot of paper towels with this. And then let's come in here. And let's just see how this works out. Okay. Stir it up real good. Get that incorporated throughout. Okay. Come here. Now this says uh, Master's Touch Violet. Where is this up? This one right here is Artist Lost Violet. 
it's like two different colors. So definitely pay attention to the name brand. If you're trying to recreate something, you want to get the same uh, brand. Or, you know, if you can match up the colors, that's fine. All right, so we got both of those. I see the bubbles are coming to the surface. All right, so what we're going to do to recreate this. Now, I've already poured up the base. Let me show you the base. Let me move these out of the way. Here's what we're going to be working with and decorating. See that pretty glitter in there? I like that glitter. It's a favorite of mine. And I put the tree off to the side for this one, branching over. So this is the one that we're going to actually do the decorating on. But I wanted to, you know, show you as a new artist what I did to get to this point, okay? I remember thinking, okay, I could just tell them public boards, but if you're a new artist, you may not know what I'm talking about. So I was like, no, that's not good. So basically a public pour is just simply you pour in something in one spot and you put, you know, you pour on top of each other. I need to put these down. Oh, I love how dark that purple is. Mixing with the blue. I just love that. And that's all you had to do. And see how it just spreads out. It self levels onto this. So once they once these harden, then 24 give it 24 hours. Then you can come in with your your glue gun. And even with this glue gun, it's a 24 hour thing. What I'm gonna do simply is just trace. Let me make sure. Let me think this through. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just come around here first. And trace the outlines and when you come back make sure you come back over the line to the best of your abilities that's the only problem I have with using hot glue all those lines that just be out there so you come back over like that. So that's going to be the trunk of the, of the uh, tree. So we're going to let that dry. Now, this is where I made a mistake. So let me tell you, when you put it down and it dries, it's going to harden. Yes, it, it's going to harden. But what can also happen is as um, soon as you pour resin over it, the gold will lift up. So... We want to let this harden, and then we'll give it a probably about, I'll say, 30 minutes to let it harden up, and then we're going to come back and put the gilding on it, and then we're going to let that sit for 24 hours. Then we'll be doing the resin on top of it, okay? So, let's leave it alone, and we'll be right back. This has set up for longer than I anticipated. I thought it was only gonna be 
30 minutes, but I got distracted and started doing some other things. You know how that is. All right, so the glue is, is dry though. So we're gonna go on to our next step, which is to apply the gold leaf. Man, I need to order some more gold leaf. I've gone through this stuff. Okay. My hands are dry. Okay, so right here, I am just taking the gold, the, the gold leaf and putting it on. You want to make sure you cover each piece. Now I'm just going to take the little stick and just help me get the gold leaf on top of the glue. When you're adding the gold leaf, just take your fingers and rub it in real good so that it grips that glue. Now you do want to put some paper under the actual mold and that's so you can capture any gold leaf as you knock it off of the actual piece. You can save that gold leaf and add it into your resin for a really cool effect. Now you do want to make sure you have a soft um, brush and you're just brushing over the gold leaf. And here I'm just knocking it off. And make sure you take that brush and just push it right up under the very edges of the glue to just make sure it's adhered very nicely. Clean it up as you go. ton of, of other gold but I do like the the um, effect right here from the glitter and up here so what I'm thinking about is possibly using some of that glitter look um, from the background here just putting up like a little area of that right in here up here where the leaves are. 
So I am thinking about doing that. See, you could just sit here and play with stuff like this for, I could for hours. And I definitely, I looked on Amazon for this mold and I cannot find it. And I am just like heartbroken because I'm going to have to re uh, reach out to uh, Let's Resin. I think that's who I got this from. And order from directly from them. If I can't find it on Amazon. Like I said before, this is my favorite mold. Okay, we're coming to the end of this project. And so today, let's go back over what we've done so far for the golden tree. We created the base, we let that dry 24 hours, came back and applied the, the glue, the um, high glue gun tree frame, let that dry, and then went back and put the gold gilding over it. And then I let that dry. So now what I'm going to do real quick here. How are you guys doing? Remember I said we're going to just rough it up a little bit. Just so it has something to catch on to. That's all I'm doing. So how are you guys doing? Let me know how you're doing in the comment box below. You know. I really, I really care. I really would love to hear from you guys. All right, so we just put a few little scratches in. Now I'm getting ready to go back over it real quick with a little alcohol. Just to, you know, get up any grit. Now, remember what I said. I've already mixed the uh, resin up. It's sitting here ready to go. And remember what I said about having other projects? Let me just show you what I'm working, what we're working with here. This one I just did last night. It's the seahorse. This is the butterfly. And I also have one let me move that out the way. Let me see if I can get this one up here. What I'm doing here with this one, I I, I filled in rocks around it. Um, basically, what I'm trying to go for is a more bluer version of this. It looks like this on one side. I love that. And then I filled it in all the way up. It was supposed to be the kind of coaster where um, on this side it's flat, but on this side it, it sits down. But what I did was I filled it in with these same stones and, and applied that little top coating to it. Um, so that's what I'm trying to recreate over here. That type of topping on here. I like it, it's just real thick, it's chunky. It's, it could almost be a paperweight. And then what I need to do now for this one, I, I'll go back around and just, you know, sand. And then I'm going to apply some uh, resin on the edges. But, so these are the, the four projects that I'll be topping today since I made a lot of resin. Okay, but let's get with the main, the star. Okay, KS Resin is what I'm using. It wasn't quite as warm. I do have to say I'm a little concerned about that. It's a lot of bubbles coming up. Here we go. And we're just applying top coats today, so it's nothing major. Just kind of like the final step in the project. You 
do want to make sure you're getting along that back side. Fill in those empty spaces around the edge back there. And that's very important with this one because unlike the other one, let me see if I can grab that. Unlike with this one, the tree stands away from the edge. With the tree being up against the edge like it is here, you'll have those gold knobs. So you want it to kind of be like one smooth piece. So it's very important that we get the, um, the resin back here smooth. So just run along with your little popsicle stick, just making sure that there is resin all in that area. Today I'm just in my my lounge clothes. I don't even have on my scarf. I have on a do rag today. I've just been chilling. It's Sunday. <sighs> Go back to work tomorrow. You know what I what I have been doing. What I have been doing is reading up on, um, and this is just the weirdest thing. I've been reading up on, um, what is it? Like dooms, doomsday prepping? Because I literally do not have confidence in my government anymore. I realized that today. Well, I, it's been coming. It's been coming, but... It just really hit me, it hit home today that, you know, I could almost ex expect an economic collapse or something at any point. And the thing that scares me so much about that is, you know, if there's an economic type collapse, then the dollar won't be worth much of anything. And it's too late for me to try to run out and get gold and stuff. I can't afford it. So, it just is what it is, I guess. You know? I think about those things up here. I have plenty of time to think about stuff like that. Up here with nothing to do. Quarantine is a way of life up here. The only thing that we missed was being able to go, you know, to Anchorage for entertainment and grocery shopping when we were on lockdown. Now they've opened it up, so some people are going out, Then there's a, a rigorous process to get back up, you know, to, to quarantine here once you get back to two different tests before you can go back to work. So right now we don't have any cases of COVID up here. Praise God, knock on wood, all of that. And I am so thankful. Because I'm not a spring chicken anymore now. I might fall in the guidelines. Alright, so I got that all the way up to the edge. And still, I'll probably have extra resin. Alright. Let's bring this last project over. All right, so what am I gonna do with this? Maybe I should do a little bit. I wonder if I can do a little bit over here. Is that even wise to do? I don't know. 
but we mixed it. So, I definitely want that there. And let's just put some over here. So here we go. I debated about adding some more gold in here, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So this is this will be the set that she gets. Two different looks. And just so you'll see how these two turn out. Aren't they adorable? My little butterfly. And this one, surprising, I love how that, that um, seahorse turned out. I really like this one. Okay, so there you have it. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I just need to, the only thing I got to do on a few of these is just clean them up on the edges and they're good to go. Until the next video, thank you. Bye-bye.